Take a look at this uh, Sega Model 1 power supply. And it had a, uh, when I was reading it on the, on the circuit board here when it was still attached, I was uh, getting a super high ohm reading on it. Now, obviously, uh, first thing, uh, I just plugged it in when I got it. Um, I had got a Model 1 from a friend of mine, but didn't have a power supply for it. So um, having some kind of bad experiences with off-brand power supplies and stuff, I wanted a, an original one for it. So uh, this is the first one I bought off of eBay and uh, it was dead on arrival. He, uh, I don't think this really had anything to do with it, but the guy had just shipped it in like an unpadded en envelope, which was kind of stupid on his part, but um, it, it for sure didn't work when I, when I plugged it in and uh, got a refund, no big deal. So this is just free essentially if I can get it working. And uh, I may have may have gone on, gotten on to the issue here. There's some kind of, I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is just a resistor. I'm going to have to do some, a little bit of research on that. Um, but uh, you can see on the output here, it's kind of, uh, you know, butted up to the end of the, the other end of the secondary coil there. And then it, uh, you know, it was bent up and over kind of like this one. There's the one like just like on the other side. And so me not knowing that was there, I was thinking it was possible there's a little break in the wire. I didn't, I didn't know what was, yeah, what was under there. So um, now I'm almost 100% sure. In fact, I'm, I am 100% sure that it's just this device, whatever it is, except looks like a resistor, probably is. Um, anyways, because yeah, from here to here, I have a continuity and it's a fairly low ohms actually. So um Anyways, so yeah, that's what we're, uh, uh, I'm going to do some research on this resistor and I bet you I can get this thing working again. That would be super nice. These are actually, uh, it's funny, the official power supplies are actually worth more than the console or about the same price. Thank you, Mr. Reader. It is a one amp fuse, in fact. So, that being the case... It's interesting because isn't this same right more than that? DC 1.2 amps. Hmm. That doesn't make a lot of sense. If it outputs up to 1.2 amps, how could it have a 1 amp fuse? You would do well to ask. Whatever, I have some, uh, I have some uh, 1.5 amp fuses. Eh. Super Nintendo power supply status. I'll put one of those in there. That's close enough that it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we got it all soldered back together here. A little fuse all tucked in there. With some heat shrink for insulation. Uh, the rubbery stuff I couldn't quite fish back over my new fuse there. It's kind of a, my fuse is a little fatter. Um, like I said, I did replace that with a 1.5 amp fuse because uh, that's what I had mostly. And also it kind of seems like it's more appropriately rated. I don't mean to question the original uh, engineer or whatever, but um, if your power supply is rated for 1.2, then I don't is, is a one amp fuse sufficient? I, I don't know. I kind of don't think so. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. I bet you, uh, I bet you that'll do it though. I see no reason why not. Moment of truth. Looks good to me. This game is pretty cool, by the way, if you haven't played it. Chicon. So that's a win. Naru. Visual show. Speed show. Sound show. Shizai ga motometa 16-bit. Sega Mega Drive. 